Okay, Rick, let's take a look. Uh, now, this is the one shot where you use a different background. Uh, somehow, this placemat just is not working. I think what you would have done better here, in this case, watch this. I think, make, make this a horizontal here. I think it works a lot better as a horizontal. Now, granted, it's the format is not 5x7, but that only stretches it slightly further in this direction. But I think this cropping works a lot better. But <clears throat> the background's great. I, I like this background. I, I know it's a it's your creation. It's a nice background. But in this shot, you have a lot of unused space, whereas in the horizontal, it's just a lot tighter and more efficient. Okay, moving on. Uh, okay, this is nice. I like your theme of uh, the wooden table and then a dark background. I want to show you something else here. Now, this is lit pretty well. Uh, but let's take a look. Take a look at this. Just a slight difference here. Letting up the back, this this guy a little more, <coughs> just to separate it from the background, just a touch. See the difference? And um, also, this is showing up like it's tilting to the right a little bit. Um, probably. Let's take a look at this. Let's see what this does. That's a little better. Just a little bit. See, watch this. Yeah. And this. Already better. Of course, we're cutting this off here in the process, but you get the idea. I mean, that's even cutting it off minimally. In general, you don't want to cut anything off. But uh, it's a, this could still work. Okay, let's take this away. And let's go on to this one. This is good. Okay, you introduce the driftwood. Hey, come back here. Come back here. You introduce the driftwood, that's fine. That looks nice. Um, you know, the ear of the cup might be nice to conclude that. But, you know, it's tight. At least, bottom line, the shot is tight. Okay, basically the same shot, you introduce the flower. Okay. Um, not much more to say about that. Actually, we're seeing the liquid. That's a nice different touch. Gotta watch your reflections here. I think I might be starting to see you here. But I think you got away. You got away with it. You got away with it here. Okay, this is nice and warm, kind of fuzzy feeling. Good. I where this thing keeps getting away from me. Okay, and basically the same shot, just closer up, different form. This is nice. I like this. Introduces a really homey feeling, and you also lit up your speckled background more. Um, this is, a, this is nice. This is a nice touch, this this piece of uh, flatware. Okay, good depth of field. Everything's in focus. Okay, very good, Rick. Uh, the downside of this picture is your umbrella's showing up right here and here. These are very unnatural looking reflections. That's the downside. But uh, all in all, good job. Very good job. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think you could, you could use this for your portfolio. Get these, uh, touch out these uh, reflections. Um, that's the only thing. You might want to reshoot this, or <laughs> if you want to cheat, you can put in a softbox reflection. Um, something more akin to this. Although this is kind of a window, I think. Let me show you something. <laughs> In a way, it's good that this part is dark because I think if uh, if too much is revealed, uh, let's see here, we, we start seeing your reflection here. I think that's you right there in the, in the reflection right here. Right there. So, got to be careful. <laughs> Before and after. Okay, Rick, that, that's pretty much it. Take care. Good luck. You did well. And uh, maybe I'll talk to you again. If not, it's been a pleasure.